Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Words of Hope. This is being brought to you by the Sweet Valley Church of Christ and Pastor Rocky Benomo. We're located at 5439 Main Road in Sweet Valley, Pennsylvania. We'd also like to take this opportunity to invite you to join us on Wednesday night for our Wednesday Night Connection Bible Study Group at 8 p.m., as well as our Sunday virtual service at 9.30 a.m. These are all being live streamed on our Facebook page, YouTube channel, and website located at www.svccconnect.org. And now, let's turn it over to Pastor Rocky and today's Words of Hope. Okay, so so yesterday, talking about Gideon, and, and so today we're going to to talk about Barak. And so Barak's faith, again, all these guys, they, they, they did something. And Barak's faith was connected with uh, one of the one of the judges in the book of Judges. And, and her name was the only female uh, woman judge, and, and her name was Deborah. So, so God uh, approaches uh, Barak and He's, he's all in, but uh, he, he gets Deborah involved, and Barak says, you know, I'll, I'll go to battle against the Canaanites, but I, I need you to go with me. I won't do it if you don't go. So, so the mistake Barak made was uh, he had his faith more so in Deborah than he did the Lord, and, and, and Deborah had more faith than Barak did because she, she knew where the, the power came from. And so Deborah said, I will go with you, Barak, but uh, because you're having more faith in me than in the Lord, you're not going to get credit for this victory. So she's already, uh, you know, forecasting the victory. So, so they go. And, and, and here, here was the, the, the dynamic that they were facing. The Canaanites had 900 iron chariots. So back in the day, an iron chariot would relate to a tank uh, versus foot, foot soldiers. They, they had no chance. An, an iron chariot would be able to mow over thousands, literally thousands of foot soldiers. So no matter how many guys uh, Barak had, he, they were going to get crushed. They, they were up against 900 chariots. So what does God do? Because he controls everything, including nature, he causes a torrential flooding-like rain downpour, and the 900 chariots sink into the mud, and they go nowhere. This panics, of course, the Canaanites, they go into chaos. Uh, Barak and his his fighters destroy literally, utterly the Canaanites because God bogged down the nine hundred tanks, the chariots. So, so what's awesome about about this is that we see that our God, He controls everything. We we exist in the palm of His hand, and every dynamic that spins out there, whether whether it's via nature or man made, any storm, whatever, God controls. So, so he will deliver us. He will take care of us. And, and he will be there for us no matter what happens, no matter what we face. And, and so with, with the uncertainty of not knowing what the future holds, and I've said this before, we know who holds our future. It, it, is, it is the Lord. And so he, he will deliver us. He will take care of us. In the meantime, he will protect us. What, what he wants, though, is for us to go to battle. And so Barak went to battle. He, he was facing the 900 iron chariots. He went to battle knowing that victory it was going to have to be the Lord's because there was no way humanly possible he would have been able to gain victory. So via the Lord. But he had to go engage. He had to get into the battle and see then what the Lord would do. I, I believe for me personally and too many times, we, we want to see the Lord move first before we move. And, and that's, not, that's not trusting him. Trust means we move first, and then we watch. Sometimes we wait for God to move, and, and he will, and he always does. We, we, we make matters worse for ourselves. We are our own worst enemies. And so if you're, you're holding up and you're still afraid and you're, you're still scared, listen, I, I'm not saying be reckless, but you have to engage. You have to make the, the, the first move. You have to do your part and then watch and see how God moves. And, and he's setting us up for a miracle as we wait. And, and, and so don't allow fear to, to enslave you. Let's let faith and the Spirit of God that he has given you empower you 
to make a difference. Let me let me pray with you guys. Father, bless our people in a mighty way. I pray we do our part. I pray we engage and we get into the battle. And then we just will wait and watch what you do. And it'll be amazing. Help us to trust you in that way. Help us to have that kind of faith. We love you, Father, and thank you. Bless our people. In Jesus' name, amen. Reach out, connect with us, stay in touch. Hopefully we see you guys soon. Blessings to you.